Hey there, and welcome to another video with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your food products on your Shopify store. Uh, it doesn't matter what type of food product you're selling. The process is the same. So there's different type of products, right? So adding a food product is, is a little bit different from adding just any other type of product. If you don't yet have an account with Shopify, I'm going to leave a link of Shopify in the description down below. So you can click on that link to get started, right? You will get a 14 day free trials. So I'll leave that link or I'll also leave a link of Shopify on my screen here. So uh, you can have a look at that link. So click on that link, we'll lead you into the Shopify page, sign up. But if you already have an account with Shopify, you don't need to sign up anymore. Just follow me through this video and then I'll walk you through on how to add your food products on your Shopify store. So stay tuned. Go to your Shopify dashboard and on your Shopify dashboard, although you can go ahead and add your products straight away. You don't really need to do that like, like this. I will show you a more effective way to do that. So the very first thing you must do, yes, I know this video is about adding a product on your Shopify store, but before you go ahead and add your product into your Shopify store, you need to create a collection to add all type of products into a very collection so that everything is a little bit more organized. So I'll start with the collections for now. So we click here on collections and I will create a collection. So I'll click here on create collection. On the title, I will just name this. The description, you can go ahead and put a description for your collection. Uh, for the collection image, you can select a, a specific image for your collection. So this is the image for my collection and the description, I don't really have to worry about the description. However, if I want to, go ahead and put a very nice description there. That will also be fine. So here now on the collection type, it's going to be automated. I love to use the automated one. Um, product must match condition. Yes, a must match condition. Leave it to all conditions. Product tag is equal to, and I'm just going to uh, put here delicious, right? It's equal to delicious. So basically this is a tag you're gonna be identifying every single product you add with the tag delicious is going to come to this very collection. So that's the reason why. And just click here on save. So you've now created a collection, it's tasty and delicious. So after you've created that, you need to come back here to products, click on products and click here on add product. And on the title here, I'm going to put a title, right? Uh, the description is very important. You put a description, especially when it comes to food products, because um, there are things such as allergen, you know, people. So on the description side, I'm just going to go to my client side. I'll just copy this one, right? I'll just copy this one, really. Uh, but I'll recommend you to put a lot of emphasis on the description, especially when it comes to food. You don't have to write too much, but you just need to write the most essential part. And now down here, I'm going to add the image. It's just, it's not a must to add an image, but it's very important for SEO. And here where it says all image, right? All image text, um, you need to, uh, so in terms of all image text, what I recommend you to do is to just put that tax relating to the product, by the way. Um, I mean, you understand what I mean, right? So I will say beurre de carité, beauty, healthy. So I will use words such as like uh, beurre de carité, beauty, healthy, right? Just to kind of describe this very picture. And the the product image size, I don't need to worry about that one. Let's show down and just click on insert. Okay, so that's the image, beurre de carité. Right? And now I'm down here, uh, the media, I need to add as many images as possible. Before I go ahead and add images here, there's one thing I want to show you, very important. You see this image with a white background? Images with white background are very presentable, but very often people don't have images with white background. So what they do is, so in order to have a, a white background on your image, what I've done is, I'm going to be using an online traffic design platform called Canva, canva.com. Uh, if you don't have Canva, I'll leave a link of Canva in the description down below. 
So go on canva.com, create an account, and come here on your homepage. This is my homepage. Click it on create design and click a custom design. So I, I'll be using 225 by 225. Something you also have to notice is every image is, is very important. Every image has the same size because it, they will all align well on your collection and they will all look great on your website. So if you decide to go by 225 by 225, please stick with it with this dimension. It's, I mean, it's great for you. So once you do that, you need to click here on create new design, right? And up here, so I'm just gonna name, name this quickly. And I need to come here to upload. I'm going to upload my products, right? Uh, so I will take an example just to explain how it works, right? So if I, if I, for example, were to use this image, right? Let's just say I want to use this image. If I want to remove the background from this image, what I would do, I'll just come here to click here on edit image. And, and then I'll do, do what I call a background remover. So click here on background remover. So on background remover, as you can see, it has removed the background. The picture looks beautiful, right? This is awesome. So uh, that background is gone. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to download this image. So click here on downloads and just click on download. And then I'll create another size just to show you another example. And here I'll upload another image, right? So as you can see, the, this background is, is is white, but it's not as bright as, as this one, right? So to, to have like a very bright and white background, uh, just click on the image here, click on edit image and background remover. I have a full video on how to get started with Canva.com. There's a lot of details that I talk about. There's a lot of things that I explain. So I recommend you to go and watch that video. I'll leave the link of that video in the description. So once I've removed the background, I can now click here on um, share and then download, download as a PNG file, no, as a JPEG file, sorry. Now what I need to do here, I need to click here on add files, right? So I will recommend you to add uh, five images. That will, that will be really great. So now on pricing, $8.99. If you like to use a compare price just to, to tell a customer you're giving them a discount, that's absolutely fine. But usually it's not like you have to use it, but it's, sometimes it's important to use it. But I'll just leave it as it is. Uh, here on charge tax on this product, I don't know the law in your country, so I don't know what country you are, but I know in the UK, you start charging tax so what they mean by what Shopify mean by tax is is the VAT. So in the UK, you start charging VAT when you start selling up to a certain amount. I believe it's up to 80K a year. But I don't know about your country. I don't know, like, you know, you need to do the research about the law. Just untick it, right? So for this uh, demonstration, I will assume your new business and you're in the UK, although this client of mine is in Belgium. But I will just, you know, I'll remove charge tax, really. Cost per item. This is great for you because if you kind of want to know like the inventory of how much you spend per product and how much money you're making, that also be a good thing. So cost per item is $2.99, $2.95, for example. Uh, margin is 67, you know, this is how much you're going to make, right? Uh, stock keeping unit. You can play around with this one. Uh, barcode, if you have the barcode, use it. Uh, stock keeping unit, if you have that, also put it. But at the same time, if you don't have it, that's not something you should stress about. So don't really, don't really worry about. In here, availability, just tell people how many, how much products you have in store. So in this case, I have 120 of those. This is a physical product. Uh, yes, the weight is going to be in grams. Uh, country of origin is Cameroon. Harmonized system code. This 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 is something that has to do with uh custom. So he, here's another. Um, I mean, this is a question I get very often. If you are in the EU, right, and you want to sell in the UK, just bear in mind you 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 have to deal with custom because uh the UK is not in the EU. 
I mean, we are in Europe, but we're not in the EU anymore. Um, so, you, but if you create within the European Union and you are part of the European Union, you you will not have to pay custom. I believe. I think I think so based on the the credit agreement, the free credit agreement. So you need to check. But I'm not gonna. Uh, stress about harmonized system or this is something you personally have to look into based on your your target audience and where you're selling your product so uh options this product has options yes this is very important especially when you're selling food products you, you have to put the options so options name is going to be size in this very case and i'm going to put different size because i'm actually selling the products with different sizes And I'm going to have that one to five grams. That's the size. And then I add another value down here, 250, sorry, 250 gram, right? Using gram. So once I've done that, I need to click here on done. So the other options, I don't really need to worry about this. I'll just need to delete that. So now on the variance, I have one to five, 250 and 1000. So obviously the pricing is going to defer. So I'll say for 250 is going to be, let's say 16 euros. And for one kg is going to be, let's say, let's just say 50 euros, yeah? This is just an example, guys. And then the quantity is going to be 120 for all of them. And that's not finished. So I need to go back up here. Product status. If you like your product to be live on your website as soon as you um, add it, you can leave it to active. Or if you don't want it to be live, you can just leave it to graph. Yeah, so, but I want my product to be live. So I'll just click on active, right? Product category, tea, infusion, blah, blah. I can change the product category, by the way, if I want to, but I won't really worry about that. Um, product type, food, vendor. This is a vendor we have market. Actually, for collections, I don't need to worry about the collection, by the way. But I, but I'm 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 worried about the title. I need to put the title. Um, I'm worried about the tag. That's 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 my concern, right? So on the uh, tag, you need to put the tag. So the tag. Remember, we use the tag delicious, right? So that's the tag delicious. So just add that tag delicious. That's it. And, and click on save. To check if this product is in our collection, we need to go here to collections. And tasty and delicious, as you can see here, there's one product, right? So that product, delicious, the product we just added is featuring, right? Probably blanc. You can see it's featuring here. So guys, that was all about how to add products on your Shopify store. As you can see, it was very straightforward. If you do have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and families. It's going to help someone out there with daily meeting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. So.